In the world of quantum mechanics, objects do not have a defined position. So whenever you measure the position of matter, it can be found in a different place. Also, the likelihood of finding a particle in each place oscillates like a wave. In other words, things only have a fixed position at the moment you measure them. And we can demonstrate that by playing bowling in a quantum level. Suppose this bowling ball is a proton and the pin is a neutron. If I throw the proton, but I do not measure the result, its position will be uncertain. But if that's the case, then the result of my play is also uncertain. After all, the pin could have been knocked down or not. So until someone measures it, the pin exists in both states, standing still and knocked down at the same time. We call this a superposition. However, what if you put the bowling ball inside a box that fits it exactly? That should allow you to always know where it is. But in quantum physics, that cannot happen. Its position has to remain uncertain, even though there is a barrier. Therefore, it must be possible to put the ball inside the box and then find it on the outside. This phenomenon is called quantum tunneling. Quantum tunneling allows an electron, for example, on the left side of a wall to be found on the right side. Is this a form of teleportation? Not really. The particle's wave of probability first has to travel through the wall and reach the other side. That is how an electron initially here can later be found there. So if our bowling ball switches sides, it has traveled the distance in between them. Though the best part about quantum tunneling is that it doesn't require any energy. Suppose you want to get to the other side of a mountain where there are diamonds. To do that you need a lot of energy since you have to climb the mountain. However, in the quantum world the position of particles is uncertain. Thus, even if it doesn't have enough energy to go over a barrier, an electron can get to the other side. But why can't we go through walls like an electron? It turns out that the greater your mass, the thickness and height of the wall, the smaller is the chance of tunneling through. Hence, Erwin Schrödinger showed that for an average person, this probability is so absurdly small that it is effectively zero. That is why you can't travel through walls. <laughs>